Hi, this is Linz from Sweet Natured, and this is our review of the Princess Premier package, as I was enjoying my market. Hello. Hello, who put the video together, and this is my first time watching, so let's see what we can see. As you said in the intro, Linz, today we're taking a look at the Princess Premier package and asking whether it's worth upgrading it or, or buying it outright. Okay. It does cost about twenty pounds, twenty nine dollars a day to upgrade to it from the Princess Plus. From Princess Plus, or to buy it outright between sixty pounds and seventy nine dollars. Oof! But what do you get? What do you get? You get. Thank you for asking me that. <laughs> you get an increase in your drinks allowance, which on the Princess Plus is twelve dollars, and it goes up to eighteen dollars. Right. You get internet connectivity or Wi Fi for four devices. Internet connectivity. We'll come back to that. You get speciality dining in two restaurants, up to the value of $29 per person. And you get the princess prizes and the princess photo package. Yes. But let's start off with the speciality restaurants. Okay. This is the thing that most people are probably most likely to spend a bit extra on when they go on a cruise ship anyway. Yes. And so for us, it is something we would have definitely done. We would have booked it, yes. Now, the two that we went on on this particular cruise on Enchanted Princess were the Crown Grill mm -hmm. and Sous Mer, both of which were $29 per person. Did we get to pick? We got to pick Sous Mer when we were on the app beforehand, but because the app's a bit weird sometimes, um, we got Princess given. himself just booked us in okay. Crown Grill, which uh, I was perfectly happy with. Yes. Uh, we wanted to try Sous Mer because we'd not tried that before anywhere. Mm. But you got the full sort of package that you would have on there. Uh, in, in the restaurant. You're not paying anything more towards it. No. Everything's included within there, and you've got your drinks in there as well. Now, the Crown Grill, and we'll come back to this a little bit later on, but the Crown Grill was one of the few that, on the menus, had its own separate part for Princess Premier. Oh, I remember, yes. It showed you all the fancier wines that you could get. Oh, good grief, Lindsay. <laughs> enjoying a little steak that you were quite happy to come for your steak on you I yes but I did find it really useful that this showed the difference of what you could get on the different packages because sometimes you're like, can we get this can oh, we not get this p and we're looking at you <laughs> so the mayor they didn't have anything on their drinks menu that separated it off they had a wine menu no that's uh, true but they didn't have one so we can't say where the sabatinis did or didn't because we didn't go to it on this it was fully cruise. booked we tried we tried we did. But we can't say whether or not it had a separate menu to show off what you could get on there. Love Sabatini's. This isn't Sabatini's. This no. is Sulemay. We'll we'll come back and there'll be full reviews in future videos on Crown Grill and, and, and Sulemay. But I say if you are planning on going, if you're on a short cruise mm -hmm. and you are planning on going to a couple of the speciality restaurants, it's pretty much probably worth the upgrade alone on that. Yes. Because this would have cost us fifty eight dollars for those two. Mm -hmm. It only cost us. Uh, 80 pounds only yes for the four nights which when we went to the main dining room was a couple of bottles of wine it was which well, we drank when you have a look at things like whispering angel which used to be at 12 dollars a glass and now is 14 dollars a glass that's 65 dollars a bottle so if you had four glasses of that each over the course of the week or the four days that would pay for itself in that alone mm -hmm. i don't you what, what, that? what what was that i just put in my mouth escargot okay snail balls so, snail balls aside, and we can't promise them on future episodes, but would you like to invite people to subscribe? I could make it my mission. And yes, I would like to invite you to subscribe. Thank you if you have done already. It does mean a lot. And yes, thank you. Do subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we've got multi-device Wi-Fi. As part of the package, you can have four devices per person <laughs> compared to just one. Will all four work? Is that where we went wrong? The, I didn't say that. <laughs> Just theoretically, you can have four devices. Now, that's worth $14.99 per person to have up to four. The one you get in the normal plus package, the equivalent of that is $9.99. And how many devices for One plus? device in plus. Four devices in there. Maybe that's where we went wrong. So, if you do have a couple of things, you might have a laptop, you might have a tablet, you might have your phone, mm -hmm. then it's easier than logging off and logging back on. I guess. But the internet it wasn't great on our cruise anyway. No, we had to use when we were in port or close to We land. just went on to cellular. Yeah. But you get that as part of it. Yes. Princess prizes. <clears throat> There's been a lot of talk about princess prizes. 
shall we have a look at what happened on your very first attempt on going into our door? As if you get on your first go. I would like to point out, I'd had about 10 goes at that point and got nothing. When you're in port, um, not classed as in international waters, then you will get this message come up. That it's not working. That it says, sorry, game closed for now. Yes. At the end of the cruise, <coughs> they gather everyone together for the end of the cruise draw, so we were down there. Yeah. And the lady on how I've cut out right at the end of it, so we're not revealing who she was, but she won $5,000. She did. And they gave it in cash from the casino straight away. Now, my only criticism is that they'd already come out with who'd won. Yes. I it, would have liked to have seen them draw it live. I mean, the cruise director and said, this next gentleman who's won, out of his bucket... Which, which takes the suspense away a little bit, when yes. they've already wrote the name on the check. He might as well have had a clipboard. <laughs> but it would be nice to see him draw it live. Yes. Princess photos. The comparable cost, because there isn't an exact package of this, you get unlimited digital photos... Oh. So if you have a thousand pictures taken, you get all of them. I'm worried what photos you've Oh, don't be here. worried too much. And you get three printed photos each. So we got six photos. That's from my upcoming cookbook. It is. You're going to sign that, aren't you? <laughs> Signed by Lindsay. <laughs> now, what the difference of us having this compared to normally? Normally, you try and avoid the photographers. You might get one or two. You, you we look, actually sort them out. You look like you're harassing. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. That's a Not nice a real one. beach. Yeah, they do make you do some weird pauses, don't they? They do. Put your hand here. Now, the bit that we know everybody's interested in, really, is the drinks package part of this. The other bits are bonus, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> so, was there a fundamental difference between the Premier Drinks package and the Plus Drinks package, which, up to doing this review, we thought was the best value at sea? I'm just trying to think. I don't think I had one of the pricier cocktails. You did? I did. Yeah, you had a couple. I did. You can't remember because you had the pricier ones. <laughs> <laughs> and they were a bit stronger. Oh, maybe, maybe. I know the wine worked out really well, because... I don't think you like that one of mine. <sighs> uh, one of the big things we love about a drinks package is that you will try drinks that you wouldn't normally try. That is true. We'll give it a go. We'll and experiment. And sometimes you get a face like you just pulled. <laughs> <laughs> and other times you might enjoy it. And there's been loads of drinks that we've had that we've then really enjoyed. Now, you can also get coffees, the premium coffees and premium teas. Which we did, and we experimented with coffee and tea as well. Different ones, and one of them were, was truly dreadful. You get to taste this now. You bought me this uh, particular flavoured chai tea. You're like, oh, you like this. I, I drank and pulled a face, which isn't on camera. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, no. First. But again, because you're not paying for it outright. Well, you, yeah, I, I understand. You, you are pay, paying you've for paid it. You paid for it in advance, but you're not paying to try that one. No. You're more likely to have a go at it. And you might have really liked it. I didn't. No, but that's life. But I might have done. I mentioned earlier about the Crown Grill and it, its menu. Yes. Right, so I just thought, trying to, you're surprised there when you open it. Oh, there's a Princess Premiere bit. I mean... Which That's it was, and you great. can see what you can get within there in the glasses. So champagne, roses, red wines, etc. I think all cruise lines should adopt that. That's brilliant. I'll show you what you can get within yeah, the package. Of course. I don't get why they didn't do it in every restaurant. No. I would like to see them do that in the main dining room, everywhere. Print. Print costs, I'm going to guess. Yeah, but you can do it on the QR Ooh, code variants. I'll look well up it there. That's the Whispering Angel that we have in I there. love Whispering Angel. Which I'm showing some other prices here. Because Whispering Angel only used to be twelve dollars, and you could get that in the plus package. It's now fourteen, so you'd either have to pay the difference. Because on this one, you can actually, if you buy something at thirteen dollars, you just pay the difference. I like that. I, I like, like that. that. But you'll see there is quite a few cocktails like the Peach Tea Smasher, eighteen, the Salted Watermelon Margarita, which was amazing. Um, I had this in the pool, and all the people next to us went to order one, and then realised it was eighteen dollars, so didn't get it. And you were very unpopular. Oh, well, because I've been going, this is amazing. So they went and ordered the five. 20 minutes. <laughs> well, that's the other side to this, that there were a lot of queues on this particular ship. Yes. The, the average queue at the bar, you can see it there, it's going back around the corner. You would queue for 25, 30 minutes on a regular basis. The app wasn't... The right. app didn't work properly. No. They were overloaded, they were understaffed. Now, 
is that normal for a Princess Cruise? No, not for the other one that we've been on. But it didn't make it as good value on this because you couldn't get as many drinks. They did say that 92%... 97%. Of, 97% of passengers were uh, on a drinks were on, package. Were on the plus package because they'd had a special value. Now, we've got a special guest down this one, Lindsay and Ken from at Ken Goes Cruising. Ken, That's we're awesome. in Good Spirits Bar. We are. What have you found interesting? Uh, the lack of drink. <laughs> No, the, the good spirits are not really flowing at the moment. No, they're not, they're not, I mean, yeah, so we ordered earlier and it was 35 minutes for a drink. Um, the bizarre thing is, there's a queue, probably with 20 people in the bar. In the, bar. the biggest concern is that we just had a waiter come to the table and he refused to take an order for a drink because there was no point, because they couldn't serve it. So, it's wonderful buying a premium drinks package. If you can get a drink. But you can't get a drink because they just can't serve you. Have you ever been told by a waiter that they won't take your order before? Never, never, never. 40, 43, 44 cruises. Never, ever, ever been told by a waiter that they can't serve you. I can't believe it. It's awful. We'll try and find a drink elsewhere. Yeah, true. I don't know where. I do, I do. Apparently you go to take five because nobody goes in there because they because play the jazz. jazz. <laughs> Thank you for that, Ken. Oh, lovely Ken. It's not that we drank the bar dry. No, we, we really didn't at all. But it, it shows the problem that there was on that particular cruise. So some final thoughts. We do think that the Premier Package is good value for shorter cruises. We would definitely get it again. We would. Would I get it for a 14-night cruise? No, I wouldn't, because I don't think the value works oh, out. Oh, my goodness, that made my eye twitch. That'd be a fortune. Well, it's not just about the cost element to it. It's also the fact that you would still only get two speciality dining rooms yes. on there. So it doesn't scale as well. No. Shorter cruises works brilliant. Longer ones, less so. so much. And that's it. End of another video. Well, thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you, Mikey. Cheers. Cheers, Lens. And, and cheers, everyone. Have a lovely day.